Oh, sorry, sorry. Coming in a little too hot. <laughs> Today we're gonna be checking out some scary videos. And you guys already know, do it with me one time. Boy, you better get that out of here. And yeah, please get to the subscribe button. Like, just click it. It'll help the channel grow. And yeah, go ahead and comment down below something scary. You can put hurricanes. You can put zombies. Or you can put your mama. And let's go. WTF clown outside my house, bro. Oh no. Uh, I bet you I closed the blind so quick. Shh. Sorry, sir. Timmy's birthday party is uh, next door. And him just staring at you like, uh, close the blinds. Grab the shotgun, like, like grab something. Mm -mm, man, clowns, not today. You better take your Joker makeup somewhere else. You ain't gonna get me, I oughta slap you with a balloon. Here are three of the most disturbing police sketches and the chilling backstories behind them. Number one is Mr. Cruel. This is an unknown man who was never caught but was a serial child predator who was targeting Australia through the late 80s. Described as a brutal assailant, he was also very cautious to conceal his identity and was always seen wearing a tightly fitted ski mask so that his victims could only see through to his eyes. Number two is the eerie eyed <gasps> man. This is an infamously haunting sketch of a repeat window voyeur who had at least one credible account of entry and assault. It's a black man. Reported in 2016 and made famous for the unsettling Settling features and disturbingly oversized eyes, this sketch is a haunting reminder that the suspect has never been caught and is still out there somewhere. Number three. I actually find this one really difficult yeah. to look at for some reason. It's, it's like, it's just very upsetting and distressing. This is actually a sketch of a suspect who would later be known as the Baton Rouge Killer. Initially a miss, police believed they were looking for a white male when in fact they would be looking for a suspect named Derek Todd Lee. But despite the sketch looking very different from the actual suspect, what's really eerie about it is that this is the expression that the victim remembers seeing on the suspect's face wow. on the night of the attack. I don't know if it's the slightly distorted features or it's that kind of emotionless stare, but there's something about this picture that just doesn't sit right. Mm-mm, heck no. Of course it doesn't sit right. It's like the eyes are slightly moving away from the center. That's somebody who drank too much coffee. They had coffee and cocaine all in the same cup. Oh, that's the grudge girl. It's just a prank, bro. It's just a prank. Heck no. Mm-mm. What? It's in there. Oh, that's mean. <laughs> she got so scared. Jeez. I swear, nobody bear play a prank on me like that. All she wanted to do was go to her room and chillax and, you know, wind down. Look at the fear. She was just, ah! She peed her jeans. Don't you know she got those for $3 at the thrift store? She'll never find another pair like that ever again. A man claims to have caught interdimensional beings on a security camera. Ooh. Just the way that light is moving is weird. Oh, heck no. That's some creature from Star Wars. What the heck? If you see that thing moving on your security camera, delete the footage. You do not want to be a part of that. Like, if it knows that you filmed it, it's coming for your soul. Can I show you a scary video? Can you show me a girl that doesn't look crazy? Okay, sorry. It comes from Culiacan, Mexico. It was posted on Mexico. 2021. And it comes from user Lalo Escalante. So I'm just going to cut to the chase. So Lalo and his friend were exploring the cemetery at 2 a.m. Cut to the chase, and then cut your hair, happens. do something. Here's the clip. Si estás aquí, esta alma que esté peinando, hámelo saber. Qué pedo, wey. Don't do it. Wey, pero qué pedo, wey. No mames. Esto se, se abrió sola, cabrón. I swear if it moves. <laughs> Yeah, what do you expect in a cemetery? That's like going to the ghost's home, knocking on the front door and being like, oh, is there anybody here? Yes, they live there. They, they live in the cemetery, okay? This doll is jealous of Annabelle. I mean, this doll is just like, man, I could have been in that movie. What the heck is this? Sir, unhand... 
Oh heck no. Okay, that's just bro, you got Spider-Man feet. Okay, that's just creepy. Imagine if that's real. Like, like I'm pretty sure it's like, oh, it's not real. But like, what if it is? And that footage was caught on camera. How the heck do you walk like that? Join the Avengers, okay? I mean, I'm, I'm sure they'll take real good care of you. They'll get you on medication so that you're feeling a lot better. She looks like she's sleepwalking up on the wall. It's like somebody who didn't know that they had superpowers, but then they, they're just now discovering it. Ugh. Or it's somebody who's possessed and, uh, you know, they need an exorcism. Clips you need to see. Let's see. Do it! Scary big waves. No, I don't need to see that. Not in person. That's terrifying, like in the ocean if you're sailing like that. What the? It's like a rock slide that like is sliding up. Okay, that that's scarier than the waves. Why is this rock slide moving in reverse? Like it's literally just going, uh, bro. If I'm walking across the bridge and I see this, um, I guarantee you I'm a, a flip a U-E. Make a U-turn and I'm going back home. Terrifying games you don't want to play, part 45. It follows. If you play this game correctly, you will be granted a singular wish, which can be a valuable prize indeed. But if you're not careful, you could lose everything that you hold dear. To begin this game, you'll need to summon the hide behind. A mysterious creature known for its ability to perfectly blend in with any surroundings, allowing it to hide in plain sight. To do this, you will need a bag of finely ground salt, a white candle and candlestick, and an empty room with at least one window. Once you have acquired these items, you'll need to wait until exactly 11.55pm. Next, Eastern you will time? need to position the salt alongside the windowsill before going to the center of the room with the candle in hand and saying the words, Hide behind, are you there? Once you have done this, place the candle on the floor and exit the room. Finally, you'll need to return to the room at exactly midnight. If the salt is disturbed and the candle is blown out, then the hide behind has entered your place of dwelling. Mm -hmm. From this point on, the game has begun, and you'll need to be very careful, as it's more than likely the creature has yet to leave the room, and is still there with you, observing your every move. For the next 24 hours, your job will be very simple. All you have to do is spot the hide behind and call out its location. It cannot move under direct human supervision, and it will grant you any wish you desire in exchange for its freedom. However, the hide behind is a man-eater and a stalker. If 24 hours goes by without it being discovered, it will feel confident enough to move in for the kill, ending your life in an instant. No! Guys, watch out for the hide behind. Don't be playing these games. Do not get a candle and a bag of salt and, uh, no, I'm just kidding, I'm like, like yeah, don't, don't do it. Just in case, because if it's real, mm -mm, man, the hide behind gonna hide your, gonna hide your, hide in your butt. I don't know. No, 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 no. The heck was that? Oh no. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Bro. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. It's time to go home. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. No, I'm good. You guys love investing in You're not even white. Bro. It's gonna pop up. Don't do it. Ugh. Why are you in there? Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. Yep, that's it for me. Mm -mm. Anybody else pee their pants? Or is it just me? I'm sorry, I had a big protein shake for breakfast. So like, you know, it's just, uh, yeah, yeah, that was, that, that was bad. It's fine, I'll do laundry later. I remember watching this video. It talks about a guy named Ashton. Ashton went to the dark web and he searched up cursed videos and he found this specific cursed video. And he was like, oh, okay, I'm gonna save this to my hard drive. And he saved it to his hard drive. And he looks at the video. This video was low-key kind of weird and scary. This is the video. Dang.
So what's weird, a couple of days go by, right? And Ashton says that he went to the restroom at night. When he was in the restroom, he was sitting down and he heard that scream from the video. And he said he was a little startled, but he was a rational person, he said. So he was he was thought he was like, Okay, maybe my wife's awake and she opened my laptop and she's watching the video right now. He gets up and he hears a loud banging on his window and he hears it rattling hard and he lets out a loud scream. He said he got actually scared. He said it's the first time I've ever gotten really scared. So he went to go like search it up on his laptop. He went back to the dark web and he couldn't find it. He went back to his hard drive and it disappeared. And what's scary about that video, when he saw it, it was titled, You Will Scream Too, right? And when you watch the video, you saw like those little Japanese texts right there. That text read, You Must Scream. And you hear like a, a, a voice in the background. And it's a little tiny, little tiny, like little tiny, low voice. And it says, Anatwa Inyatemas, translate to, I can see you. <laughs> So if you put those three words yeah, back to no. back, it says, you will scream. I, I can see, see you. you. You must scream. You put that in like together, that in his restroom, that, that scream. And then he heard that rattling on his thing and he screamed, right? And it stopped. Everything stopped. Imagine if he didn't scream. I'm sorry if y'all got cursed. Dang, man. Appreciate the story on y'all's kickback crew podcast. Both of y'all are fired, okay? No more stories from y'all. That was creepy. Jeez. Uh, yeah, don't go to the bathroom by yourself. Take a buddy. This is what spider season looks like in Australia. Why is there an octopus? Oh no. Okay, okay, that, no. That thing's too big. Mm -mm. Look at that web. Mm -mm, man, I'm, I'm not going to Australia anytime soon. I'm sorry, I can't do it. That's not a spider, that's a dang armadillo. It's too big, man. I'm getting the shotgun, I'm getting the machete, I'm getting the grenade. And I'm gonna blow them all up, sorry. Like, I, I, I gotta do it. The forest, I'm gonna I'm I'm decimate it all. Or I could just spray it with a can of Raid. Maybe it'll work. But if you enjoyed this video, then go ahead, give it a like. And yeah, I'm gonna see ya in the next one. Peace.